the United Nations, as well as the British High Commissioner, the United States Ambassador in Nigeria. Our position is that election in Edo State must be free and fair, and it must reflect the will of the people in the sense of reflecting their yearning and aspirations. That election must be conducted under a very, very peaceful atmosphere, and the Nigerian government and the security agencies must ensure that this is an irreducible minimum that must be achieved as far as the forthcoming Edo State election is concerned. This is a letter of complaint that we have submitted earlier on the attempt to disrupt peace in Edo State by some identified national figures. We are calling on the international community to help the will of the people of Edo State to prevail. Your Excellency, we wish to congratulate you on your appointment and ask God for divine wisdom, strength and good health. As you may be aware, it is now about 30 days to the governorship election scheduled for September 19, 2020 in Edo State. The coming election has unfortunately heightened security challenges in the state, principal of which cause much worries, particularly among women and children in the state. We therefore wish to let you know that we have selected to embark on this peaceful protest to solicit for the support of Nigerians as well as the international community to help in pressurizing the federal government of Nigeria to enforce the rule of law and ensure there is peace before, during, and after the election in Edo State. Your Excellency, we request that you prevail on the federal government of Nigeria to implement a coherent security strategy to ensure that the elections are free, fair, and credible and represent the true will of the people of Edo State and must reflect their yearning and aspiration and preferred choice in the forthcoming governorship election. For the record, we are beginning to witness an unprecedented level of verbal and physical attacks on the governor of Edo State, His Excellency Godwin Obaseki and his deputy and their supporters. Of particular note, was the attack on Governor Obaseki and his campaign entourage by political tax and hoodlums loyal to the former chairman of the All Progressive Congress, Al, uh, Comrade. Uh, Comrade Adams Ali Oshomole. It is important to note that this is the third time that an attempt will be made to attack, intimidate the governor, who is the chief security officer of Edo State, whose commanded our responsibility is to protect lives and property of residents of the state. The first attempt on the life of the governor was made at the home of Comrade Adam Soshomole when the governor in the company of His Royal Majesty Oba Akele, the Oba of Lagos, a few months ago, were cautiously going to pay compliment to the then national chairman. This is a clue to what Comrade Adam Oshomole want to turn the Edo election into. It is clear that the former national chairman and his new candidate are determined to draw blood and gauge it in drums in the Edo State election. We say this because at the commencement of the Edo State campaign, the second attack at Governor Obaseki happened at the venue of His Royal Majesty, the Oba of Benin. Hoodlums hired by Pastor Ize Yamu and Captain Hosa, who have styled themselves as lions and tigers because of their ferocity, pounce on the governor and other state governors and members of the governor's campaign council that we are paying a courtesy call on the royal father. We must remind Nigerians that the candidate pro proudly hold meetings with these tags and advises them to turn against any guidelines and our laws. 
The meetings are captured in videos that are viral. Nigerians were again vociferous in condemning the despicable act at the Oba's palace. Yet again, their warnings fell on deaf ears. We must know that democracy cannot survive if its operators refuse to play by the rules and trades in the constitution, and those in authority continuously conspire to subvert the system. It is pertinent to note that provocations are now becoming more frequent and brazen in Edo State election, which is only a few weeks away from Ondo's election. Both states are in close proximity, yet whereas on those states there is an atmosphere of peace and things are moving smoothly, but in Edo state there is, it is turning into a boiling point because Adams or Shomole, who sees his candidate's victory as a ticket back to political reckoning, will stop at nothing to achieve that. We wish to state that all the machinations, evil machinations of people who want to subvert the will of the people and further derail the consolidation of democracy in our country will fail. We are aware of what happened just yesterday because of the fundamental fact that the Malian ruling party read the last parliamentary election. Tension has heightened which led to military coup. This is a drawback to the consolidation of democracy in the African continent. It is equally noteworthy that up to now, no single arrest has been made, despite the fact that these attacks occur in the full glare of the Nigerian police and other security operatives in the state. In the addition to the flagrant disregard for the office of the governor, his supporters have also been victims of this viciousness. At least 12 supporters were hospitalized at the attack at the Oba of Benin Palace. It has become worrisome, especially as the federal government security operatives look helplessly on at this criminality. The signs are ominous, to say the least. Just yesterday, Comrade Adam Oshumole was caught in phone conversation, giving directive for the arrest of any supporter of Edo State government. Our demand that the international community should mobilize in numbers a lot of credible observers to ensure that the election in Edo State is free, fair, and credible. That the federal government must assure the people of Edo State and the international community that there are with peace and security in the September 19 election in Edo State. They can start by calling on the Inspector General of Police to enforce seriously the maintenance of peace and order in the state. That all hoodlums that are bearing weapons must be disarmed as soon as practicable. That the international community must pay closer attention to Edo State election and pray to INEC to ensure that the election is free, fair, and credible. The INEC must ensure that only credible observers are accredited to objectively observe the election. The INEC must not allow itself to be pressured into the postponement of the election or contriving an inconclusive election. At this juncture, we submit our demand. Thank you, Your Excellency. 